Hey fun fans, before we get to this video, I want to give a big shout out to all of you who have been spreading the word of fun to help us stay Lob Light Independent through your donations, bits, and subscriptions, and also to the sponsors of this segment, PTC and Striker. PTC currently has the Robots to the Rescue Challenge going on where you can earn a share of $7,000 for your team by designing a robot that helps solve a current world problem at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. And Striker is looking for first and fun fans to join their team because they want to help support you in your first journey. Help develop solutions for current and future problems like the new emergency relief bed. Get details on how to join their team at careers.strykr.com forward slash first. Welcome to the F4 Catathon Spring Special broadcast on First Updates Now. From F4, I'm Sam Burkowski, and our producer is the editor-in-chief of fun, Tyler Oltz. The Catathon is bigger than ever, with over 450 participants competing and 100 teams that will be judged on today's stream. With seven days to create robots and CAD to face the unique game challenge, Game Day, some submissions will leave you in awe, while others may not shine as bright. What's important is that all teams are improving their CAD skills to prepare them for the next season of competitions. Well, let's introduce our judges. Judges, wave and say hello. To start, we have Mr. N from Team 1339 Angel Botics. Next, we have Brant from FRC Team 1477 Texas Torque. Next, we have Matt from FRC 199 Deep Blue. Last but not least, we once again have Parker from X Development. Thank you to all of our judges for taking the time to make this happen. It is truly appreciated. So let's break down what the Catathon is, including this year's game, game day, and how the judging process will take place. To start, the Catathon is open to anyone who wants to open their CAD skills. Teams robots were judged based on a standardized rubric in effectiveness, creativity, and detail. As for how the show will be laid out, places 100 through 51 will randomly be shown on screen and briefly recognized. Places 50 through 16 will be randomly be shown on screen and we'll have a couple judges comments mentioned about them. And places 15 through one will be shown in order of place. And as we get closer to number one, more time will be spent talking about each team. Now to explain this competition game, let's cut up to our game animation. Welcome to F4 Catathon's 2020 Spring Special and this Spring's challenge, Game Day. In Game Day, Teams compete on one of two alliances of three robots each to secure points by shooting footballs, moving weight plates, and parking in the end zone. The game day playing field includes many field elements. There's a three foot high stationary bar for each alliance on the edge of the field in the lane. In the center, a limbo bar exists for each alliance. This bar starts at six feet high but drops down to two feet as weight plates are moved by the opposing alliance. Above the alliance walls, a 12 foot wide field goal is positioned 86 inches off the floor. This goal gets narrower as the opponent scores weight plates on their scoring peg across the field. At the start of the match, robots are staged on their home side of the field. Robots may be preloaded with one weight plate and three footballs each. Throughout the match, robots work to remove weight plates from their retrieval peg, which lowers their opponent's limbo bar and moves them across to their scoring peg, which closes their opponent's goal. Each weight plate placed earns the lines 10 points. And if all 11 plates are secured at the end of the match, the Alliance will earn an additional ranking point. Robots also work to retrieve footballs from their human player and score them in the field goal. Each football scored through the field goal earns two points for the Alliance. As the match progresses, the game gets more difficult. Goals narrow and the limbo bars drop, potentially trapping robots on one side of the field. Teams should design the robots to accommodate ever-changing field conditions. The final 30 seconds of the match is the end game, where robots will need to traverse the field back to their end zone. Each robot parked fully or partially within the end zone earns 25 points, and if all three robots on the lines complete the end game, a ranking point is earned. There's a lot to do in F4 Catalan's Spring Special Game Day. Good luck, teams, and happy catting! All right, we have a lot of great robots, so let's jump right into our judges. Brent, start us off with Team 434. So in 81st place, we have Bon Joyenton and the boys um, with John, Drew, ben, uh, Drew Bennett, and James. In 96th place is Team 534 Ultimate Protection Squad. They're affiliated with first team 1675 coming in rank 88 was team 333 gale force they're affiliated with frc team 126 
Um, and then in 63rd place, we have Team 262, the NURBS of the North, and they're affiliated with <laughs> FRC Team 568. In 75th place, we have Team 606, Team Poradox, uh, from Ryan, Mingwei, and Liam. In 77th place is Team 549, Gearheads 2, Electric Boogaloo, Team 813. Rank 68, we have Team 350, Andromeda, and they're affiliated with Team 5987. In 62nd place, Team 407, Void, uh, from Nick and Ava. In 70th place is Team 556, Lancer Robotics, associated with FRC Team 2367. In 78th, we had Team 566, that's Sigma Motion, and they're from 2658. And then in 76th place, we have Team 633, Roadblocks, and they're with FRC Team 599. In 80th place, we have Team 604, Team Bonk, from Robert, Ethan, and Baron. And they're uh, judging uh, the scouting sheet made me laugh. It was really good, guys. Thanks. <laughs> in 58th place is Team 553, the Llama Pajamas. Affiliated with FRC Team 226. In 89th, we had Team 563, Mountaineer Area Robotics, that's Mars, and, and FRC, they're 2614. In 98th place, we have Team 463, um, team named No, uh, very creative there with uh, Ethan. In 99th place is Team 548, Las Pumas with FRC Team 2197. And in 60th, we had Team 562, Phantom Cats, and they're from Team 2637. In 57th place, we have Team 635. We are the CAD guys, duh, um, with Quinn, Caden, and Alex. In 73rd place, we have Team 365, Team Eelfield, and they're associated with Team 2521. In 95th place is Team 554, Maverick Boiler Robotics, affiliated with FRC 4272. Woo. In 51st, we had Team 574, that's Damascus, with Justin. In 61st place, we have Team 371, Hyperspace, and they're affiliated with Team 1574. In 100th place is Team 558, Girls of Steel Robotics, affiliated with 3504. I'm just going to say it the way I feel it. And then Matt? Uh, uh, sorry, in 72nd, we had Team 572. It's to be determined, 7034. In 93rd place, we have Team 462, the Nine Inch Snails, associated with Team 599. In 92nd place, we have Team 589, RGB Gang, from Ethan D. and Riley. In 87th place is Team 533, the PVC Pirates, affiliated with Team 1058, one of my favorites. In 52nd, we had Team 579, that's the Hamimer Heads, uh, from Verona. In 85th place, we have uh, Team 449, Team Good Enough, and they are affiliated with FRC Team 7042. In 97th place is Team 542, Susmurs, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, affiliated with FRC Team 2733. 56th, we had Team 581, Bonobos, from Sam. I think we missed a couple. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ryan? In 64th place is Team 538. That is Warp 7, affiliated with Team uh, FRC 865. 
Hey guys, I'm just going to chime in as a producer note here. We, we're having a little weird error on my end, so give me a second just so we can reset. I want to make sure the right teams do get up uh, at the right times. I uh, just said team 60, or team uh, 538. We missed, we missed um, yeah, team 429. Yeah. We missed team 429. Okay, we'll show them both on there. So uh, so this is team number 538 once again. Warp 7 with FRC team. Yeah, 429. And, uh, 429? 429, yeah. yeah. Right. 79th place. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Did I, I don't think I read 79th place. Team 429 Badger Bots. They're associated with team 1306. And I think it's my turn again. Uh, in 55th place is Team 561. That is Team Bread, affiliated with FRC 5940. Give me, give me a second. Sorry, guys. Okay, sorry about that. You can keep going. Okay, so now in uh, 86th place, we have Team 625, the Iron uh, Pants, uh, sorry, <laughs> associated with uh, Team 5026. In 82nd place is Team 543, that is Caleb 8114, affiliated with Team 8114. And in 69th place, we had Team 585, Sabotage from Paul. In 74th place, we have Team 420, Bird Alliance. Uh, that's Gavin, Tristan, and Michaela. In 67th place is Team 539, affiliated with first team of 1138. That is Eagle Engineering, awesome team. And in 90th place, we had Team 569, that's Thundercad, and they're from Team 3624. In 53rd place, we had Team 386, Swine Rats, and they're associated with first team 2733. Yes. Yeah, 386. Coming in in 65th place, we had Team 359, the Robotots, and they're from Team 2412. In 66th place is Team 207, Abra Cadabra, and that is Lucas, Julia, and Brianna. Coming in at 71st place. <laughs> okay, um, so in 71st place, we have Team 621, um, the Robo Manglers. Uh, this is Thomas, Robert, and another Thomas. <laughs> in 94th place is team 531 that is Brummant and that is first team 3735 in 84th place team 605 quarantine and CAD uh, Peyton Cooper and in 91st we had team 577 Robo Eagleton In 83rd place is Team 8, Caddy Wampus. That is Sam and Shrey. Mm -hmm. In 54th place, we have Team 591, Night Vision from Cooper. And lastly, in, in uh, 59th place, we had Team 310, Dugasaurus, from Sam, Nate, and Eli. All right. Well, that is bringing us into our top 50. This video is brought to you in part by PTC. Look, during this time, it's important to look for challenges to keep your skills up and to help your team in fun development. The Robots to the Rescue Challenge can help you accomplish both by designing a robot that solves a real-world problem with a chance to win a share of over $7,000 for your team. Click the link in the description to get started at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.
Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.